Gorilla vs. Komodo Dragon A silverback gorilla is a mature male mountain gorilla that lives in East and Central Africa's tropical rainforest. Silverbacks are in charge of leading a troop of 10 to 30 individuals, deciding where to migrate, where to feed, and where to rest. A Komodo dragon, also known as a Komodo monitor, is a member of the monitor lizard family that is confined to a few Indonesian islands in the Lesser Sunda group. Size and Weight Silverback gorillas often weigh 300 to 500 pounds, 136 to 226.8 kilograms, and stand up to 6 feet, 1.8 meters. Adult male Komodo dragons typically weigh around 150 pounds, 68 kilograms. However, some can grow to be 10 feet, 3 meters long, and weigh over 300 pounds, 136 kilograms. Speed Gorillas can travel at speeds of up to 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour, through knuckle walking, while Komodo dragons can achieve speeds of 13 miles per hour, 20 kilometers per hour. Senses Gorillas are not natural predators and their sensory abilities are quite similar to humans. They have human-like vision and hearing abilities, though their sense of smell is superior to that of humans. Komodo dragons exhibit remarkable sensory prowess. They can detect creatures from distances exceeding a mile thanks to their specialized sensory organs. They also have excellent vision that aids in identifying potential prey. Fighting Technique When provoked, silverbacks may charge their opponents, using their massive size to throw them off balance. Their methods include strong strikes, powerful hand motions, and biting, all of which are designed to cause substantial harm. Notably during these encounters, gorillas use their powerful canine teeth, which can exert pressures of up to 1,300 pounds per square inch (PSI) to pierce the flesh of other animals, though their teeth are used mostly for intimidation rather than fighting. A Komodo dragon has a weaker bite compared to a gorilla. Instead of relying solely on their bite force, they employ their sharp serrated teeth and claws to rend their victim apart, inflicting severe blood loss and shock through vigorous shaking driven by powerful neck muscles. Even if potential prey manages to escape an initial attack, their safety isn't assured, as Komodo dragons are equipped with a potent venom. This venom, housed within glands in their lower jaw, plays a crucial role in the dragon's hunting strategy. It prevents the prey's blood from clotting, leading to significant blood loss and eventual shock. Even larger prey animals like water buffaloes would succumb to their bites after escaping an initial attack, although it may take days for that to happen. Who would win? A silverback gorilla possesses some advantages, including size, strength, intelligence, bite force, and speed. These attributes may lead one to assume that the giant ape holds the potential to always emerge victorious in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation with a Komodo dragon. However, it is important to know that having potential does not guarantee victory. Gorillas by nature are not natural predators. They are peaceful animals with limited combat experience, and it's essential to dispel the common misconception of them being all-powerful. While there are rare instances of gorillas displaying aggression towards humans, documented cases of gorillas actually killing any creature are scarce or non-existent. Despite their physical capabilities, they do not inherently possess a killer instinct. In a hypothetical face-off with a Komodo dragon, a gorilla would face significant challenges. To deliver a decisive bite, the gorilla would need to approach closely, putting itself at considerable risk. Unlike more agile predators like big cats, silverback gorillas lack the agility, swift maneuverability, reflexes, and leaping abilities needed to dodge the venomous bite of the dragon. If the Komodo dragon succeeds in delivering a bite, it's a matter of time before the giant ape succumbs. In my opinion, both animals would die. While the deadly lizard would inevitably die in every encounter, the dragon would also inflict injuries and introduce venom into the gorilla's system with a single bite. The venom would require some time to take effect, offering the primate enough time to retaliate. The gorilla might win the physical battle, but it would eventually die from the Komodo dragon's venomous bite.